Welcome back to our channel, fight fans. Today, we'll take a closer look at one of the most exciting and dynamic fighters in the heavyweight division, Sergei Pavlovich. With a professional record of 17 and one, Pavlovich is a force to be reckoned with in the octagon. He hails from Russia and competed in promotions such as Fight Nights Global before making his debut in the UFC in 2018. One of the first things that stands out about Pavlovich is his striking ability. He packs a serious punch, and his heavy hands have earned him 14 TKO victories. But it's not just his power that's impressive, it's also his precision and accuracy. He knows exactly how to land his shots and is not afraid to let his hands go. I don't know how others feel about it, but Sniper would be a better nickname for a fighter with this level of accuracy. But Pavlovich isn't just a one-dimensional striker. He also has a solid grappling game, which he uses to put his opponents in dangerous positions and capitalize on their mistakes. This makes him a well-rounded and dangerous fighter in all aspects of the game. It is noteworthy that initially his background sport was wrestling, and he developed striking skills after already being a successful wrestler. Off the octagon, Popovich is a devoted family man and a respected member of the MMA community. He's known for his dedication to training and his willingness to constantly improve his skills and evolve his fighting style. And with a record like his, it's clear that his hard work is paying off. In the future, Pavlovich is expected to continue to climb the ranks in the UFC heavyweight division and make a run at the title. He has the talent, skills, and determination to go all the way to the top. He has already faced two absolute killers like Tai Tuivasa and Derek Lewis in 2022, and it took him less than a minute to serve each of them a TKO KO loss. We will definitely be keeping an eye on Sergei Pavlovich. There are several options for Russian fighters. The fans want to see him fight against another European prospect, Tom Aspinall. The winner of the fight should be guaranteed a title shot against the winner of the vacated heavyweight title fight between John Jones and Cyril Gaon. Only a few people talk about Sergei as he does not love to talk a lot, but instead lets his hands speak for themselves. However, his five first-round KOs in a row made a statement to the UFC and hardcore fans, and matchmakers are sure to find someone for the number three-ranked heavyweight in the division.